Hello everyone and welcome back. It's supper time here. I need to cook something up so I'm out in the garden picking a few vegetables. I have some pork here that was raised on the hobby farm that's thawed out. I'm just going to get everything cut up here and just kind of make a kind of a halfway stir fry. I don't like my vegetables in my... it's not really a stir fry. I do it in a wok but it's kind of cooked like that. And uh, I don't want my vegetables to be crispy like most people do. I like to cook them until they're soft. I picked some green onion right there. I got some zucchini and yellow squash. Some of the broccoli, I've already cut the heads off of them, but uh, you know how they shoot up afterwards, so you get broccoli for a long time. So I cut some of them, just kind of snapped some of those off. This year I grew some of these fingerling eggplants. I've never had them before. I do like eggplants, so these little ones seem like the perfect size. To... I got so many green peppers, I don't mind when I pick them when they're small like this. It's just about the right amount I need. I literally have at least 50 of them on the plants out there. There's no way I can eat that many. I have thousands of uh, green beans out there, so picked a few of those. And I still have some snow peas, and these are actually at the end of their cycle. The plants are starting to turn brownish and uh, just kind of dry up, and so are the, the pods that haven't been eaten. There was just so many of them and just not enough, not enough time to eat them all. Oh, I'll get these washed up. It's not going to be a very big stir-fry. I kind of want more meat in it than I do vegetables this time, so like I said, it's not really a stir-fry. Like I said, I'm using pork here that was raised on the hobby farm and butchered uh, last fall, early winter. Put a little oil in the bottom. Gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. Put some Worcestershire sauce. Normally I add liquid smoke in here, just a little bit, and I ran out. I thought I bought some, and I did, but I brought it down to Louisiana. <laughs> I don't have any in the cupboard right now. Put in some garlic powder. And even though I have some uh, green onions in there, I'm going to put some more onion powder in here too. And just a little bit of red wine vinegar. Not too much or it gives it kind of a sour taste. I'll just let this cook now before pulling the meat out. And then once I put the vegetables in there, I also add water in there and then I can adjust how much seasoning or whatever I want because the meat, if the meat was a little bit too salty or a little bit too less salty, once I add it all back in with the vegetables, that all disappears anyway. Like I said, I, I want this to be uh, boiled in this until all the vegetables are soft. But you see that nice color I have in that? That's what I want. Now I can taste this, see what I have to add, because this is what all the vegetables will taste like. Very blah. Right now you could just kind of taste the meat taste, so I have to add pretty much everything. A little more Worcestershire. A little more soy sauce. Very little bit of the red wine vinegar. I don't want it to get bitter, but it does give it kind of a body to it, if that makes any sense. A little more garlic powder. And a little bit more onion powder. I'll mix that all in, and before that gets too hot, I'm going to taste it again. I 
tastes good, but it isn't salty enough. So this is what I'm going to do. Instead of adding more soy sauce, I'm actually going to just put some seasoning salt in here. And now I'm going to taste it again, but it's getting kind of hot now. That's actually really good. Now I'm going to just sit here and let this boil on kind of a low heat for maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes until everything is soft and they'll be done. Then I can add the meat back in there. That's just about how I like it. You can see how the dark, the water stuff, whatever you want to call it here, all the vegetables are kind of getting that color. Even the beans are getting soft. Now we'll just let that cook together for a couple minutes and it's done. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. That's what's for dinner. I will see you guys on the next video.